Lucy, you know you're not supposed to call me at work. <sighs> he did? Okay, that's it. He's going to answer to me when I get home. Talk to you later. My son. He flushed his third and last goldfish. Oh, kids. What can you do? <laughs> is complete. Now for step two. How do I make sure that poor Mr. Crane gets a fatal erection? I wonder what happens when Julian gets an erection. Does he explode? <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. But how? I mean, how do you go about getting a man turned on? Ugh. That ugly nurse won't do anything for Julian. There's gotta be someone. Stupid am I. You really want to start a fire? Use gasoline. Rain. I've never seen Julian look so weak. So small. I've never seen anything that small. <laughs> it is so sad. I sure wish someone could do something to cheer him up. It's a terrible situation. I mean, how could anybody make a formerly strong man like Julian feel better about himself? Oh, he must feel so unmanly now. Oh, my God. What was I thinking? I have a gift from God, and now it is time to use it. Um, I'll see you later, sweetie. Gotta run. Poor Julian. I'd say your time is just about up. On test night. Changed? How? Why? Oh, uh, well, I always keep a change around just in case the opportunity arises. And that is my mission today, to make the opportunity arise, arise from its bed of pain. Huh? Oh, well, never you mind. Um, let's put it this way. Some women were born to be rocket scientists. Some born to be presidents. Others have a much higher calling. I'm gonna go make Julian feel like a man again. <clears throat> Mr. Man like what Mr. Man seek. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Get happy, then die, Julian, die.